much earlier than expect than, or than typically. About 6:30 in the morning. Fix my mirrors. I'm trying a new set of mirrors here. Let's see how they work. Set them. they work until I get on the road. Major two. There's no one coming from behind me. So we'll have to see in a stoplight. Anyways, it is April 20th. It is snow. It's August 27th. 22nd. With a real and mixed up day. It's nice and cool. It'll wake me up. About quarter to seven in the morning, so seven hours and forty-five minutes into the day. Okay, one mirror is set too low. was on again last night. I watched him again. Uh, I read some of the uh, people he recommended as uh, the people, his, as some of his sources. And actually one of them I had known about global research a while ago. It seems to be sort of interconnected to a number of different things. It brings out... Nothing 
else. It's not until you go across the spectrum that you get enough of the vertical, even if it's shallow, that you get a sense of what's going on. new setup. Uh, things just be working okay. I've got the new mirrors on here. I can see to my left and I can see to my right. Now the uh, two sides for the mirror. That's interesting. This will be my first time uh, in a long while going to church. Silly because I just haven't been feeling well enough to uh, head out at 6.30 in the morning. I went to bed around 3, 3.30, so I'm working on three hours worth of sleep, so it should, just, should be an interesting day today. Not a squirrel. Uh, no traffic, though. simply by repeating it so the repetition the repetition of the lie makes it true Oops, sorry about that okay it was too high up. Trying to get these adjusted just right. I don't think they'll be getting it perfectly, just as long as I get it sufficiently. I do have to readjust you, the camera. It has to be readjusted slightly. Can't see that now. This is the light's gonna change. The problem is, is that Lionel doesn't have enough of the skill to do the to do the proper spe uh, called spread spectrum the, the, the spectrum uh, sampling to get a good feel of what's going on. So is, he says he doesn't know who to believe, and this is where a lot of people are stuck in this are stuck in this uh, uh, are stuck in this sort of perspective. They don't know who to believe. And after a while of this confusion, if this confusion lasts long enough, most people simply give up and just say, well, 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 this is what, it, it, what we have to live with. And they'll sort of roll over and die, if you will. Anyway, something's not working, so... Anyways... <laughs>
I'll go check this thing out when I get back to my place. Anyways, things be working, it seems to be working out okay. Heavy bumps, the mirrors are moving around. The camera's moving around. Alright, I think I'm going to have to tape the mirrors in place. I don't think that they're strong enough to hold in place. Uh, no, they're not. To avoid the bumps. completely hanging. Okay, so we'll get that back slightly. Good acceleration. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of a tape job. It's not holding. better. Go. When I get home tonight, that's when I have to do the repairs. But I won't be getting home until later on tonight. Until then, this is going to have to do, and this is it.
works out. Now, I'll have to do, tighten the right mirror when I get back to the office. The right mirror is just too loose right now. Uh, it's stopping it a bit, but it's not doing a sufficient job at sort of keeping everything where it needs to be. Okay, let's get this adjusted then. Since we are out like this. Okay, that should be better. There's a car behind me. I can see the car behind me. Can't see it in the right mirror. But the right mirror never really worked. Never had a bright mirror before anyway, so this is something that's going to be new. It's going to be new, having the right mirror. It's going to take me a while to get everything adjusted. Let's see if I can do another quick adjustment here. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Oh. But now left and a right. Definitely going to be required. It's jumping loose at both, at both sides and now loose. This is the jumping around. I'm going to have to sort of fix this when I get to the stop sign. scenario uh, that that sort of goes on in terms of these war games one very quickly gets a sense that these people are full-on nerds and this is what what we wonder what QLARP was and QLARP uh, well what Q was QAnon it was no, nothing more than a scenario as one of these nerd game type of games that uh, people played uh, during the election. And it was exciting. It got people involved. Gave people a purpose. After the whole thing, everything was, all the, everything was said and done. Well, no one cared about it afterwards. So, <laughs> I guess this is the nature of things. on the road. So that guy was another idiot. He did decided to instead of going around me, he needed to uh, uh, you know, go on the right instead of going on the left. These are the guys, I know a guy like that. He was just in a horrible accident. His body's in pain. 
is because he can't stay in one lane. He has to be the guy who's going to race around you. He's in a race with everybody. And so, of course, he gets into a lot of different accidents and uh, he's in pain a lot. How do you help someone who won't help themselves? You know. And the thing is, he's been in motorcycle accidents, and and the thing is, this is sort of the nature of people themselves. So they well, well, why does everyone act so stupid? Because there's a lot of stupidity out there, a lot of stupid people, and they don't need to be on the same page for everyone to act to act their own little in their own little form of stupidity. And they walk themselves through a lot of the problems and they wonder, well, why is this happening to me? Because you're stupid. This all plays into gnosis. But the large chuckle what's going on is, 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 is has a Gnostic origin to it. So why do you deal with all this magic and stuff like that? Well, because that magic is gnosis and a large chunk of what's going on involves gnosis. The people at the top, there's no stranger to gnosis. They're fully involved. But most people don't even understand this. They don't understand what's 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 actually happening, and so uh, it affects them negatively. Why is all this negativity around us? Well, because you're crazy. The environment that you're in is more or less, more often than not, the environment that, that you're in is the environment that you create. And this is a sort of true of gnosis as well, because the one of the understandings of no, in gnosis within gnosis is gnosis simply means knowledge. And typically, we're talking about the knowledge of beyond, the knowledge of the spiritual universe. Uh, it basically means that uh, we create our heaven and hell. No one puts us in hell. No one puts us in heaven. We create it for ourselves. That doesn't, that doesn't mean there isn't a God. It just means that, that how, how we end up in life really depends on us. This is the nature of free will. And a lot of different, you know, politicians and so on and so forth have been going along through history. There's an enormous amount of history here coming up. But I think if you don't want to know, know about history, you just want to sort of, uh, you know, pedal uh, along and sort of, you know, find the neutral and feed up, you know, in a lounging position, then you're not going to have much of a good life. And it is this, this, this whole bizarre existence that we have tells us the things we should have and uh, you know if we don't have them then we're not necessarily as good as we should be and, and well, why me why don't I have what so and so has and why don't I have you know someone also has you know a 20 foot pool and I only have a 10 foot pool in terms of its over, overall diameter and length and you know and, you know my my pool is you know, only 10 square feet, 10 by 10, and the other one else has, he's got a, he's got a, uh, uh, a 900 square foot, 30 by 30. You know, why don't I have that, you know? And it's all, it's, it's this whole thing of measuring yourself by somebody else's standards. And typically, 
the one of the reasons why you don't have what you have is because well maybe you didn't work as hard <laughs> you ever think of that maybe the work you've done isn't as much as what somebody else has done I mean what's his name Donald Trump certainly has had a lot of success but at what price you know, what type of relationship does Donald Trump have with his children? I mean, not much. So, how then do you deal with, you know, you not having what somebody else has? You know, you know like, like Donald Trump. Donald Trump worked all day long. He worked all night long. Uh, and he destroyed a couple marriages. Uh, never really saw his children except by appointment. I mean, here's the thing, once the childhood is gone, childhood is gone. As a dad, you can't go back and, and, and recreate the childhood, because that child is now grown. And this is something that seems to be lost on, a, on a, you know, on people, you know, who work all their lives and then at the last minute, hey, I missed out on so-and-so's childhood, let's go back and redo it again. Well, you can't.